Hi everyone, Rob John Miller, Gar Machinery. Exciting news. I should sound more excited, really. Exciting news! Brilliant stuff. Um, still, I brought out their new IMOs. Yeah, if you know about them, you know about them. If you don't, you're about to know about them. So they've revolutionized everything. Uh, first thing, for any questions, yes, they're still wired on the outside. Still believe that's the best way to go um, with the robotic stuff at the moment. They've got two different colors. They've got the standard orange and white, which is similar to the old ones. Some people don't like that. So they've made a gray and black one, like a stealth ninja mower. Looks awesome, yeah? Um, there's a reason for the two different uh, colors. Just um, differentiates, differentiates between the two types of mower. Um, you've got a standard five, six, and seven, which is white and orange. And then you've got a five, six, and seven Evo models, which would be the gray and black color ones. Uh, they do things slightly different. So wiring, uh, you get, on the Evos, you get three wires to put out from the base station into the garden, which you can then, which is twofold. It's, you can divide the garden up as in terms of mowing. So if you didn't, say so you've got three wires and you want to keep the left-hand side of the garden not mowed for a week or two, or you can just say, don't mow there. Um, and it also acts as where the old ones used to follow perimeter wire back. And then a few of the models had the drive home, direct drive home, they had to have a cable out the front. With the three wires, that is basically the direct drive home um, capability, but it just picks the closest wire it's to. So you don't get all those lines going around um, through the garden. You've got a big area that's like 5,000 square meters and you're relying on one wire to go home, you're gonna eventually get track marks. And the beauty about those ones is it will pick either one of the three, but it also go left or right of the wire randomly. So it won't just get on the wire and fly. So if, that, if, that, if this is the wire, for instance, it won't just sit on the wire, it'll, it'll travel both sides and it'll be depending on what side the wire it approaches it from. So it evens out the wear on going home. Um, they both got that capability, you just get less wires. I think, you only get, don't, I think you only get one with the standard mowers. You get three of the Evos. Um, so like I said before, all controlled by your phone. These ones are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth controllable, so you have to be at home and within range of the mower. This bad boy gets 4G, so you can be anywhere. You get met. If you want to control something, you do it all on your phone and you don't have to be at home. So that's a benefit. Um, the other thing is the Evos will mow quicker, especially on the 7. I'll have to check the 6 and the 5. I believe it's the same still. You get a slightly bigger motor and it travels across the ground slightly quicker. So for your bigger areas, it will cover it more efficiently. They're going to range from, I think, 1,500 square meters up to about 5,000 square meters in terms of what it can cover. Um, loads new more benefits to them. Uh, they've got sensors on them for them crashing into stuff. They've got a device, uh, an option on there where they'll get themselves unstuck. So a lot of the things, the old machines, they fall down a rabbit hole and just sit there all day. These ones, they can raise themselves off the ground, get themselves out of holes. All controlled on your phone now. Um, you can divide the area up in the garden. They've got lots of wires coming out of the base stations nowadays, so you can divide the area up, so you can cut different areas. Happens on both of them. The big, this one here, which is class as the bigger machines, um, you get more wires, so you can divide more areas up. Um, simpler to use compared to the old ones. The old ones had a screen on the front. This is basically stop, info, going home, and everything's on your phone. So unfortunately, you need to have a modern day phone to use them, but I'm sure we've all got modern day phones nowadays. Um, and then they've got little, little quirky little bits. I doubt we'll get them on the video because it's, it's not turned on yet, but basically in this bit here, there's an LED matrix built in and it tells you what the machine's doing, where it's going home, whether it's stuck, where it's mowing, where it needs help. Little gimmicks on there. Well, there might not be gimmicks because we haven't found out yet because we haven't used them. Um, but it talks to you, so it tells you what it's doing. So all that stuff, you know, is a much bigger upgrade compared to the old machines. So then going underneath them, which would be a big difference to the old IMOs if you didn't know. The old IMOs had just a solid blade. 
a bit like a standard mower. These ones, I don't know if you can see it from there, or Nat's going to come in a bit closer. You can see now they're running. If I put my finger in there, I'm trying to cut it. Or you can probably see it just sticking out the bottom there. They run little swing tip blades. All right, three of them on there. I think you get nine or 12 in the pack when you buy a machine. So it's not a case of, uh, oh, they're going to run out really quickly. They will probably blunt quicker than the, the old blade, but they're pence to replace, you know. Still have got a lot of manufacturers have gone this way now. Seems to be the, the sort of in thing to do. So still have gone that way. So all tool free. All you got to do, undo that, unpick it, put them on. So nice and easy. So that's the underside of it. So they both got exactly the same setup, three blades. Now what you can do, while I've got it up like this, um, they do do wheel kits for all the mowers. And you get it basically is a chunkier tread. All right, so if you've got a bit of a slope to go up, you get more grip. So you've got a standard grip there. I think it's like 14 mil or something that goes in there, so it's a bit chunky. And you get some weights for the front wheels to sort of keep it, keep it down. Talking of slopes, the Evos will do a steeper slope than what the standard ones would be, all right? I believe you're at 55% on the Evos, and I think you're at 40-ish on the standard ones. All right, so that's some of the differences between them. You know, they've only literally just turned up. We're going to have a bit of a play around with them. We're going to do some steel training courses over the next couple of weeks. And we'll bring some more feedback after then. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See you soon.